Good morning again. My, I'm Grandma Sue, and today I'm going to present a video of Mary Lyon her, and her grave. Now, Mary Lyon was a local person. She was a school teacher for 35 years, and she chose to um, found what's now known as Mount Holyoke College. Uh, it was primarily, primarily for women. I did see a couple of men when I was there, so I assume they are taking male students. The grave is by itself on a hill in the middle of the, of the campus. Uh, if anybody's interested in going to see it, you need to go to the center of town. And on the left will be the um, Yuyo Tavern. To the right is... Um, to go down Main Street. You want to go straight through those lights coming off Route 47 and once you go past the buildings on you take your first right. You follow it almost to the end and up on a hill there will be a single grave that's enclosed with a fence as you can see by the video. It's very nice, very lonely, but I was told that she was a very quiet, um, personal person, private and this is what she wanted. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now this is Mount Holyoke College. Some of these buildings look like they probably were here when she was alive. It's huge and all alone behind everything is the grave of Mary Lyons, founder of Mount Julio. Read what it says, Mary Lyon, the founder of Mount Holyoke. The Emil Seminary, and for 12 years, its principal. A teacher for 35 years, and have more than 3,000 pupils. She was born February 28th, 1797, and died March 5th, 1849. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own words praise her at the gates. Beautiful. Sorry, I'm out of breath. There is nothing in the universe that I fear, but that I shall not know all my duty or shall fail to do it. Servant of God, well done. Rest from thy love employ. The battle fought, the victory won. Enter thy master's joy. Just beautiful. The scenery. Lovely plot.